So this is a short video on blockchain. I'm going to talk about three topics. What is it? How does it work? And what are the legal issues to consider? It's short, so I'm dealing with the topics at a deliberately high level. But if you're interested in finding out more, follow the link at the end of the video. So what is blockchain? Arguably, it's the most hyped tech in the history of technology. Blockchain is a digital record or ledger of transactions taking place across a peer-to-peer -peer network. It can be any list of transactions. So for example, Bitcoin is a ledger for tracking cryptocurrency balances. Generally speaking, blockchains share some common features. It's a method of securely storing and linking blocks of data using cryptography. Each transaction is then stored in a unit of data called a block, and then those blocks are securely linked to each other, forming a chain of records that goes all the way back to the start of the ledger. Hence the phrase blockchain. The blocks of data are replicated on lots of different computers or nodes, and the ledger isn't managed by a single central authority like a bank. Instead, it's decentralized, meaning the nodes maintain a list of transactions and each node has a copy of the ledger. It's trustless. Participants don't need to know each other and can transfer digital assets from A to B without the need for third party verification. And all the transactions are kept on the blockchain and never deleted, but you can add new blocks onto the chain. First, you download the blockchain software. You install and configure that software according to the documentation. Once that blockchain software client is running on a machine, it's called a node. Each node stores a copy of the ledger and is used to set up accounts. Accounts are used to participate in the network, to create transactions, to send transactions to the blockchain, to validate transactions. You have private keys and public keys which are used to operate your accounts and also identify your accounts on the network. So if X want to transfer a digital asset to Y, X and Y will broadcast digitally secure signatures, which are a composite of their public and private keys to the blockchain together with details of the transaction. Nearby nodes will then follow the rules of the relevant consensus protocol. Now that's an algorithm encoded within the blockchain software, which sets out the protocol for nodes to reach agreement on whether or not a transaction is validated. Once that transaction is validated in accordance with the consensus protocol, it's recorded on the ledger. For Bitcoin, the consensus protocol is called proof of work. So what are the legal issues? Well, it's the usual suspects that you find on tech-related deals. Who owns the IP? What's the scope of the license? Is there any open source software being used? And are they licensed under permissive or copyleft license terms? What warranties or indemnities are provided by the blockchain supplier? And what disclaimers or exclusions on liabilities is the supplier relying on? Support is a common concern. What's the scope of the support provided by the supplier? Service levels, service credits, commitments to fix or work around defects. And finally, data protection is a hot topic in light of GDPR. If there's personal data being accessed via support or stored on a node, then that's a common issue. So if you're interested in finding out more, get in touch.